hey hey friends thanks for tuning in for another video before we get too far into the video you know what i need you to do go ahead and hit that subscribe button this video is sort of a continuation from my last video if you haven't seen the video i will link it in the cards and in the and in the description box um, in that video i was showing you guys how i remove my full cover nails now i will be showing you guys how i apply them as you can see i start with my prep so i start with pushing my cuticles back and i apply my cuticle remover i rub that in and let that sit for a little bit and then i remove anything that i can um, not being too rough just gently removing anything that comes off of my nails lately i've been allowing my nail sets to stay on for anywhere from four to seven weeks um, i only use the cuticle remover when i have had my nails on for a long period of time so if i've had them on for two or three weeks and i'm just changing it out there's really no need for me to use the cuticle cuticle remover um, but like i said once i've had them on for a while i haven't touched my nails in weeks then i definitely see an advantage in using the cuticle remover once I'm finished with that, I take my ball bit to clean up around my cuticles and I follow that up with my sanding band. I do carefully clean up around my cuticle area with my sanding band and then I lightly uh, rough up the surface of my nails. Uh, I'm using a medium grit sanding band because that's all I had at the time, but I typically use a fine grit sanding band and that is what I would suggest using. Once that is done, I am using my alcohol to clean up and remove all of the dust. And after I finish scrubbing the life out of my nails, I go in with my alcohol and acetone mix to dehydrate my nails. And now it's time for the application. I know some of you guys are like, oh my gosh, she forgot to prime. No, I didn't. I used my rubber base coat as a primer. So as you can see here, I am... Uh, applying a thin layer of the rubber base coat to my nails i am scrubbing it into the surface my hands are not shaking <laughs> i'm scrubbing the rubber base coat into my natural nails before i apply the full cover tips y'all know i swear by my rubber base coat this is what allows me to keep my nails on for five six seven weeks with no lifting my rubber base coat is the truth, I am telling you. If you have not seen my video, Five Ways to Use Rubber Base Coat, I will link it down below so you guys can check it out and you will see why I swear by this. Um, of course, it is available on my website as well as the nail tips that I will be using today. So make sure you guys check my website out. And of course, I have a discount code for you guys in the description box. After curing my nails, it is time to apply the full cover gel tips. I do size and prep my nail tips before I start the application process. To prep my tips, I just etch the inside of the nail tip with my sanding band um, to match the length of my natural nail. Next, I apply my rubber base coat inside of the tip and I apply a little bit excess at the base, um, enough to cover, enough to allow the gel to cover my natural nail and I flash cure in my lamp. Um, the lamp that I am using here is from the Pottle. Um, however, I do now have lamps available on my website, the One Finger Lamps. I do find the one finger lamps to be a lot easier. And guys, you just repeat these steps until you have all of your nail tips on. It is so simple and so easy. Um, like I said, I just literally brush the inside of the tip where I have etched the, etched the inside and I brush my rubber base coat on there. Um, as you can see, like I said, I do apply a little bit excess at the tip, I mean, at the, I'm sorry, at the tip, at the base of the nail and I just line it up and press it down, making sure I don't have any air bubbles or anything, and I flash cure. Um, once I get all of the tips on one hand, then I do go into my lamp for a full 60 second cure. 
I absolutely love this method. Um, as I stated in my last video, this method has allowed me to grow out my natural nails. Um, what you see here, I think might have been the beginning of my natural nail growth. My nails have grown tremendously. And like I said, it all started from me using this method. I think I wore this set for seven weeks. Um, once I removed this set, I did an acrylic overlay and it's time for me to take that overlay off. I think I've had the acrylic overlay on for about six weeks at this point. I've said this before, but I'll say it again because I stand by it. The only way I can keep my nail set on for this long is with proper prep and my rubber base coat. I spoke with a lady a few days ago and she could see that my nails had grown out and she asked me how long I had the set on. And when I told her, she was shocked that I didn't have any lifting. But I truly enjoy the fact that once I put my nails on, I know that they're staying on until I decide to take them off. I don't have time to do my nails every other week like I used to. So for me, I absolutely enjoy that once they're on, they're on and they're not coming off until I decide to soak them off. After I finish my full 60 second cure, I just take my nail tip cutter and cut the tips to the desired length. I typically cut my nail tips longer than the length that I actually want them. By doing that, I just give myself room for error. So if I overfile or if I um, need to correct my shape, I can still have the desired length that I want once I finish doing all of that. As you can see, I have a little bit of gel at the free edge of my natural nail. It's not going underneath my natural nail. So for me, that's not a problem. If that happens for you and it is something that is bothersome, you can just take your drill bit and clean it up. And that is exactly what I'm doing to clean up the excess gel on the front of my nail. I am taking my cone shape safety bit and I'm just cleaning up any excess gel that might have seeped out during the application process. Once I finish with this step, I take my hand file and I shape my nails. Um, if you are going to add product on top of this, which you can, you can add gel polish, poly gel, hard gel, acrylic, dip powder, whatever you want to do, you're free to do. Um, I would typically take my hand file and go ahead and go over the surface of my nails. Um, if I don't use the hand file, then I would use my um, sanding band just to rough up the surface of these nails so that the product will adhere to it. I did apply product to these nails. However, I knew I was going to be doing it on a different day, not at the same time I applied the tips. So I did not etch the surface until I was actually ready to apply that product. Um, after that, I am going back to my alcohol and my brush and I am cleaning up all of the dust from my nails. If you've tried this method, let me know down in the comments section how you like it. Once I finish scrubbing my nails with the alcohol, here is what they look like. I didn't record the application process or the design of my nails, but I included some cute pictures for you guys. The solid colors I used are dip powders from IGL Beauty, the marble transfer foil is from Love by Verde Nails, and the glitter is from Funky Free Curls. I will put all of the information to this design in the description box so you guys can check it out. I will be adding this cute little gel tip kit to the website very soon. The kit will include a set of full cover tips, uh, a rubber base coat, and the one finger lamp that I was telling you guys about earlier. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I will talk to you guys in the next one.